हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स दिस वीडियो इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ माय प्रीवियस वीडियो इन विच वी सॉ द टेक्निक ऑफ डी रूल टू सॉल्व इंटीग्रल्स विथ ओनली वन पैरामीटर इन्वॉल्व इन इट्स इंटीग्रैंड नाउ वी सी टाइप टू एग्जाम्पल्स इन विच इंटीग्रैंड विल हैव टू पैरामीटर्स इन्वॉल्व इन इट we solve these examples once again with this rule of duis that is differentiation under integral sign so let's go ahead with next example here we are asked to prove integral of e raised to minus ax minus e raised to minus bx upon dx over the limit 0 to infinity is equal to log of b by a where a and b are both greater than 0 now to begin with we first note down the parameters involved in this integral here we see parameters are a and b so we take only one of these parameters in consideration and we label this integral as i of a and now we call this equation as equation number 1 next we use duis technique and we differentiate this statement with respect to a so on lhs we get di by da and on rhs we will get integral of partial derivative of this integrand with respect to a keeping x constant we call this integrand as small f so since x is constant 1 by x is constant e raised to minus ax derivative with respect to a is e raised to minus ax into minus x and since there is no a in this term derivative of this term is zero so d by f by d by a is e raised to minus ax into minus x upon x now this x and x will get cancel we will be left with minus e raised to minus ax dx over the limit 0 to infinity integration of e raised to minus ax is e raised to minus ax upon minus a now after substituting these limits in x we get e raised to minus infinity which is 0 and then by substituting 0 in x we will get e raised to 0 that is 1 so after simplifying this we get di by da as minus 1 by a i forgot to take this minus sign over here but later on i have rectified my mistake so this answer di by da is equal to minus 1 by a is correct now we integrate both the sides of this equation to get value of i so after integration on lhs will get i of a whereas on rhs will get minus integration of 1 by a da which is minus log of a plus integration constant c now to find out value of this constant c we will substitute a is equal to b in this equation so after substituting a is equal to b we get i of b is equal to minus log b plus c now let's calculate value of i of b from equation number 1 let us recall equation number 1 here it is that is i of a is equal to integration of e raised to minus ax minus e raised to minus bx upon x dx over the limit 0 to infinity now let's substitute a is equal to b in this so we get i of b is equal to integration of e raised to minus bx minus e raised to minus bx that is 0 upon x dx and 0 upon x is 0 so integral of 0 is 0 therefore i of b is 0 now let's substitute value of this i of b over here so we get c is equal to log b now we substitute c is equal to log b into this equation number 2 we see i of a is equal to minus log a plus log b that is nothing but log of b by a which is the required rhs hence this statement is proved i hope you understood this solution so let's go ahead with next example here we are asked to prove integral of x raised to a minus x raised to b upon log x dx over the limit 0 to 1 is log of a plus 1 upon b plus 1 here there are two parameters involved a and b so we consider a 
and we label this integral as i of a. We call this equation as equation number 1. Now by using DUIS technique, we differentiate both the sides with respect to a. We get di by da on LHS, whereas on RHS we get integral of partial derivative of this integrand with respect to a. We have to keep x constant, so 1 by log x is constant. Derivative of x raised to a is x raised to a into log x. And since there is no a involved in this term, derivative of x raised to b is 0. So after differentiation, we get integration of 1 by log x into x raised to a log x dx. This log x and this log x will get cancelled. So we get integration of x raised to a dx over the limit 0 to 1. Integration of x raised to a with respect to x is x raised to a plus 1 upon a plus 1. Now let's substitute these limits in x. So we get 1 upon a plus 1 after substituting x is equal to 1. And we get 0 after substituting x is equal to 0. So di by da is 1 upon a plus 1. Next, we integrate both the sides of this equation with respect to a to get i of a. So we see i of a is integral of 1 upon a plus 1 da. Integral of 1 upon a plus 1 is log of a plus 1 plus integration constant c. To find value of this c, we will substitute a is equal to other parameter that is b into this equation. So we get i of b is equal to log of b plus 1 plus c. Now to find out value of i of b, we'll go back to equation 1 and we will substitute a is equal to b in it. So i of b will be equal to integral of x raised to b minus x raised to b upon log x dx over the limit of 0 to 1. This x raised to b minus x raised to b will be 0. 0 upon log x is 0. And integral of 0 is 0. So i of b is 0. Finally, we substitute i of b's value into this statement. And we see c is equal to minus log of b plus 1. Now, we substitute value of c into equation number 2. This was equation number 2 and this was the value of c. So after substituting value of c over here, we get i of a is equal to log of a plus 1 minus log of b plus 1. That is log of a plus 1 upon b plus 1. So i of a, that is value of this integral, is log of a plus 1 upon b plus 1 as required. Hence proved. Now let us see last example. Here we are asked to prove integral of tan inverse ax minus tan inverse bx upon x dx over the limit 0 to infinity is equal to pi by 2 log of a by b. Once again there are two parameters involved in this integral out of which we consider a and we call this integral as i of a and we label this equation as equation number 1. Next, we use a DUIS rule and we differentiate both the sides of this statement with respect to A. So left side becomes di by dA and right side becomes integral of partial derivative of this integrand. So let us differentiate this with respect to A partially keeping x constant. So tan inverse AX derivative with respect to A will be 1 upon 1 plus AX square into x tan inverse bx derivative with respect to a will be 0 because there is no a involved in it. Now this x and this x will get cancelled. So we will be left with integral of 1 upon 1 plus a x square dx over the limit 0 to infinity. To solve this integral we will take out this a square. So we have 1 by a square outside into integral of 1 upon 1 by a square plus x square dx. Now this is like 1 upon alpha square plus x square whose integration is 1 by alpha into tan inverse of x by alpha. Here alpha is 1 by a. So value of this integral is 1 by a square into 1 by 1 by a into tan inverse of x by 1 by a over the limit 0 to infinity. 
Now let us substitute these limits in x. So after substituting infinity in x, we get tan inverse of infinity, which is pi by 2. And after substituting lower limit 0 in x, we get tan inverse of 0, that is 0. This square and this a will get cancelled. So we see di by da is 1 by a into pi by 2 minus 0, that is pi by 2a. This is value of di by da. Now we integrate both these sides with respect to a. So on LHS we'll get i of a and on RHS we'll get integral of pi by 2a da. This pi by 2 is constant, you can take it out. And integral of 1 by a is log a. We have to add c as an integral constant. So i of a is pi by 2 log a plus c. Now to find value of this c, we will put a is equal to b in this equation. So after substituting a is equal to b, we get i of b is equal to pi by 2 log b plus c. Now to find out value of i of b, we refer equation number 1. We put a is equal to b in this equation to get i of b. So i of b is integral of tan inverse bx minus tan inverse bx that is 0 upon x dx. Integral of 0 is 0, therefore i of b is 0. Now we substitute value of i of b over here. We see c is equal to minus pi by 2 into log b. Now we substitute value of c in this equation number 2. Let us carry forward these statements on my next slide. This is i of a. This is equation number 2. And this is value of c. So after substituting value of c over here, we get i of a is equal to pi by 2 log a minus pi by 2 log b. This pi by 2 is a common term. We will take it out. So inside we will get log a minus log b which is log a by b. So i of a that is value of this integral is pi by 2 into log of a by b which is the required RHS. Hence proved. I hope guys you understood all the steps that we have discussed today. Keep practicing these examples. Very soon I will be coming with more such interesting videos. Till then thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.